It's so hard to cut. Oh, get it twisted. I mean, a lot of people don't like cream cheese icing. Sometimes I feel like, you know, my family just don't take my relationship seriously. Do y'all experience the same thing? I do. I mean, my three sisters, they're older and they're married and they all have kids. My mom ain't care as long as I ain't had no baby. She, she already took care of like 16 grandchildren. Whenever we stay at my mother-in-law, I mean my play mother-in-law's house, she make us sleep in separate beds. Y'all shouldn't have bitch. What the hell she laughing at? She think I didn't see that she don't want her son sleeping as the enemy in her house. We all got men who don't want to marry us for whatever reason. We have to be proud of that. Like, there's something to be proud of. If you dig deep and you dig a little deeper and then you even dig a little deeper into that deepness, mm. then you will realize you gonna be deep. that we have... You're going to be deep. You are going to be deep. But look, you ha then you will realize you got something to be proud of. You have something you can smile at at the end of the day. Oh. At the, even at the beginning, look, not even just at the end of the day. At the beginning of the day. We gonna go, the, the end and the beginning. And in the middle of the day, you still gonna find some peace and happiness if you realize you got something to be proud of. That's all I'm saying. Y'all got so, to get your together. <laughs> you know what? We probably are never gonna throw a bouquet or be like on our man's health insurance or anything like that. But at the end of the day, we are still somebody. Really, we don't even need health insurance like that because we got Obamacare now. <laughs> Tara, we go get our special treat. That chin yeah, off your shoulder. How do you go that deep? <laughs> Can't wait to see what the truth oh, is. Thank you so much. I didn't know you were so I'm really trying to have a better attitude, but I don't trust these hoes. Here you go. This is really nice. You did your mm -hmm. thing, Chablis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's Shibli and I did what I could mm -hmm. and I always do what I can, okay? To the bride and groom. Cheers. Cheers. Wait. Yeah. I know you're not leaving me out. Oh, but boy. Where's my glass? You left yourself out. I can't believe this. Where in the hell is my glass of Moscato? What? I put, I sent a text out, right? I sent a mass text out. I said everybody needs to put in $20 for the drink fund. I didn't never get no text from you back. You didn't put no money in my account. You didn't send me no uh, PayPal or none of that. So that's why you don't have no drink. Is Chabli really trying to say I don't have $20? My man may not be giving me the ultimate commitment, but he breaks bread, boo-boo. If it was a $20 drink fund, why you got that $5 bottle over there? Oh, I, I did give Shibley $20. That makes me wonder. This wine is cheap as hell. I always pick up a bottle when I buy my tampons. What's $20 for? What's $20 for, Shibley? Wait, hold on. First of all, I don't appreciate you implying that I use the drink fund for felonious matters, okay? I'm not a thief. I didn't call you a thief. I said you was cheap. Oh. You do not have to resort to name calling the Kendra Neek. I went to Juvie when I was just La Kendra Neek. Okay? <laughs>